Welcome to Any Way You Slice It, where we talk about your identity and purpose in the kingdom of God. Come join author Ricardo Richardson as we slice our way to the core of God's Word to experience the beautiful and transformational discovery of who we are and why we exist, no matter how we slice it. Today's message is Unshakable Hope. Beloved family, our text says, Now our hope for you is unshakable, because we know that just as you share in our sufferings, you will also share in God's comforting strength. Brothers and sisters, you need to know about the severe trials we experienced while we were in Western Turkey. All of the hardships we passed through crushed us beyond our ability to endure. And we were completely overwhelmed that we were about to give up. It felt like we had a death sentence written upon our hearts. And we still feel it to this day. It has taught us to lose all faith in ourselves and to place all of our faith and trust in God who raises the dead. 2 Corinthians 1, 7-9 Have you ever felt like the weight of a particular circumstance or problem has you crushed on all sides? Paul was explaining this feeling of despair to the Corinthians in an attempt to give them unshakable hope. See, when we trust God, we see his power in work all around us, surrounding the circumstances that surround us. How did I make it through the breakup of that relationship, the loss of that job, the death of a loved one? How did I get through? It was the power, grace, and peace of the Most High. Jesus Christ picks us up in times of difficulties, and when we look back in the rearview mirror of our lives, the only evidence is that his steps were in the sand. Yet together we kept on walking. That breakup, loss, or hardship didn't cause us to give up. Going through might have crushed us, but didn't destroy us. But God picked up the broken pieces and carried them to the potter's house to repair us, to reshape us, to revive us, to renew us, and to restore us. The repeat ministry of King Jesus Christ. To restore the kingdom of God through the Holy Spirit of God. There is a story about an elderly lady that walked from a village to draw water from the river every day. She would fill her pot and walk back several miles to her home, arriving with half the water in the pot. One day the pot, feeling sorry for his flaws, says, Why do you keep using me and filling me up every day? Don't you see I'm cracked and can't hold the water? By the time we get home, half the water is empty. What use am I? The elderly lady said, Did you see all those flowers on the side of the road? Yes, the pot replied. They are bright and beautiful. She replied, I planted seeds, and on the road back home every day you watered them. We may be cracked, family, or even crushed from the issues and circumstances of life, but we remain unshakably hopeful because God uses us to be a blessing to water and refresh others. But it is He, our Lord God, who ultimately brings the increase to us and to those we water. We can be encouraged, and even though we may be flawed, cracked, or in lack, God can still use us. King Jesus pointed out the generosity of a poor widow who gave two copper coins or one penny. He called his disciples to him and said, I assure you that this poor widow has put in more than everyone who's been putting money in the treasury. But she, from her poverty, has given everything she had, even what she needed to live on. Mark 2, 43-44 The proverb says, Generous persons will prosper. Those who refresh or water others will themselves be refreshed. I am reminded of the word that Paul told the Corinthians who were praising and almost worshiping him for planting the word of God in their hearts. He says, I planted, Apollos watered, but God made it grow. Because of this, neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but it is God who brings the increase or makes it grow. 1 Corinthians 3, 6-7 on the sidewalk the other day, I noticed a tree growing through the concrete. 
It was a seed that was crushed and walled in. No way to go or grow. But it found a crack in the concrete and pushed its way through to the light of the sun. You and I may feel crushed and walled in and can't see our way out to go or grow. But if we just look up and focus on the light of the sun, the S-O-N who brings the increase to human life, not the S-U-N who brings the increase to plant life. We will ultimately grow and become stronger no matter what is holding us down. In the S-O-N, we will grow and become stronger no matter what is holding us down or what crack we may have. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. Be unshakably hopeful, beloved. The Son of God, King Jesus Christ, is your way out of any situation that you are in. Because He is the way, the truth, and the life. Much love.